time on the set of students. So here it is, our last distance learning video for this school year. Thank you all of you who have hung in there and done all this work. You've impressed me so, so much. And for those of you who are just jumping in at the end, I'm so glad that you're participating at this point. Throughout the whole thing, it's been all about just trying to get you engaged, keep your brains working, and give you a little bit of hope. Because when we're working on projects and we're creating, um, even if we're around destructive things, it's really what drives our creative human spirit. And I am so impressed with everything that you've all done. So this is going to be an all grade level project. I used to do it some years ago, and I thought it would be fun to bring back. You're not going to need very much for this. It's light installation. Your objective is simply to transform a space using light as the medium. You can use other things, cardboard, uh, string, you can set up something like for shadows, you can use a desk lamp, you can use natural light, you can use sequin fabric, um, whatever you want. But your final product is going to be a photo that you take and send it in. So you shouldn't even be able to tell what it is you took a picture of, it's just really all about the light. There isn't a right or wrong way to do this. I'm going to very briefly go over some of the history of light installation artists who have started all the way back in the 1970s. Um, I mean, most of human, most of the history of painting was about painting the light to begin with, but when people started using uh, neon lights and even natural light to create sculptural sort of experiences, it's where it became kind of an art form and long before LED lights, which stands for light emitting diode, there were artists doing this with, uh, with neon and um, reflective things. So what you're going to be doing is just transforming a little space and taking a picture. I'm going to show you a lot of examples and different ways to do it. I'm not going to do this project with you. For no other reason than I want you to for no other reason than I'd like this to be a short video. I'll show you what I did for, I will do the project, but you don't have to watch me do the project in this video because I think you've all listened to me talk enough and I want you to just kind of get an idea of what you're supposed to be doing here and get right to it and send me a photo of however you accomplish this. Thank you so much for hanging in there with me, folks. It's been great to see you and meet your humor, your worries, your um, your concerns, your energy, just all of the things that you've shared. And even if you um, couldn't participate way too much, but you were there watching the videos or for however you engage with this experience, I miss you all and I'm proud of you all and I look forward to seeing you again.